What's up everybody, Todd here. Check it out, today we're going to install the Magnum RT Gen 2 drop step from Raptor Series on our 2020 Ram 2500 crew cap. For this installation, I'll be using a 13 millimeter and 10 millimeter socket along with ratchets and small extensions and a 10 millimeter wrench. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to keep up to date with our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start on the driver's side. We're underneath the truck, just behind the front tire. As you move along the back of your rocker panel, what you're gonna see uh, is uh, this right here. Now, we've already pulled away some tape. There was actually some tape covering all this up, but you're gonna have an oval hole up top and then a couple of uh, smaller holes down below. Uh, those smaller holes may or may not have threads behind them. I'm gonna show you what to do, whether you have threads or not, because we have both of those situations going on. We actually had a different set of running boards on here where we have the threaded holes here. So if you've got threaded holes, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is take a bolt plate, it's just a single bolt plate. It's gonna go into the oval hole. And once it's set up in the oval hole, we're going to set that in place with a retaining washer. That's just gonna hold that in place while we put everything up. All right, now we've got our bolt plate held in place with a retaining washer. We're gonna take one of our brackets we're going to slide it over top of that bolt and we are going to put a flat washer, lock washer, and nut on the bolt to hold that in place. All right, next in the threaded holes, we're going to use an eight millimeter bolt along with a lock washer and flat washer. Do that with each one of those holes. We're just putting this hardware on finger tight for right now. All right, next we need to go ahead and fit our support brace in. So we're going to drop the bracket down, pull the support brace around the bracket. And then push it up against our pinch weld. Here we're going to take one of our long bolts with a washer. This is our six millimeter bolt. Go through the pinch weld and into that bracket along with flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. We can go do the same thing with both of those holes in the support brace. Okay, next what we wanna do is go ahead and lift our bracket up and also lift our support braces up. Through the holes in the side of the support brace in the bracket, we're gonna use our smaller six millimeter bolt with washer, and then on each side, do flat washer, lock washer, and nut. Do the same thing on this side as well. Okay, now while I'm holding the bracket up, we're gonna tighten down these two bolts using a 13 millimeter and this one using a 15 millimeter. Then we can come back and tighten down uh, this hardware using a 10 millimeter on both sides. Once this is locked in and this is locked in, then we can lock in this also using a 10 millimeter on both sides. Okay, so if you've got threaded holes at the bottom on each one of your bracket locations, just repeat the exact same process on each bracket. Uh, we have our center bracket that has open holes, so I'm gonna show you how to do that next. Uh, and we're gonna repeat our same process here on our rear bracket, because that's what ours is set up as. Okay, now as you move along the rocker panel, you're gonna come across another couple of holes with an oval hole up top. These do not have the threads behind there. So this is our second bracket location and I'm gonna show you the different way of installing the bracket with this. So this is our triangular bolt plate with welded nuts. Uh, what this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of turn upside down, slip into the rocker panel like so, and then fish back around. Once that's in place, we'll be able to see how we can line up the holes uh, that are threaded back behind our rocker panel. And we're gonna take our plastic retainer washer and put that onto our bolt plate so that the bolt plate doesn't slip back into the rocker panel while we're installing the bracket. Okay, now here is our bracket. Uh, now I've already got our support plate loosely assembled to our bracket just to make it a little easier when we put that in place. Uh, that's optional, you can do it like we did the first bracket or just like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide that over top and then once we have that lined up, our holes 
Uh, if they're not lined up, we can still turn the bolt to line the holes up. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, eight millimeter bolts with flat washer and lock washer and go ahead and line them up to those holes. And do that with both of our holes down below. Then for our bolt up top, we have flat washer, lock washer, and eight millimeter nut. This is actually a smaller bolt or a smaller nut and smaller bolt than what was on the single bolt plate. I'll go ahead and raise it up, line up our support bracket to the pinch weld. And just like before, go ahead and install the long bolts and all of their hardware. All right, now just like what we did before, we're gonna raise up on our bracket, tighten down this hardware first. Now all three of these are gonna use a 13 millimeter. Then we can tighten down uh, our uh, pinch weld hardware with a 10 millimeter each side and then 10 millimeter each side back here. Okay, now if you have holes with no threads in all three locations, this is how you're going to install all three of your brackets. Okay, here we have the driver's side running board. This is actually the bottom side of the board and the back side of the board. Um, it's labeled driver with a D in your packaging, or if you've already taken it out of the packaging, there's actually a letter D that's kind of stamped in the board itself. Uh, but what you're going to notice is you've got three welded plates that have oval holes in them. Those are the plates that are going to line up to our brackets we just installed in the truck. All right, for each one of these welded plates with the oval holes, we're going to take a double bolt plate. You've got a bolt on one side and a welded nut on the other. We're going to take, put that through the bottom, rotate the nut around, and then take our plastic retainer washer and thread it onto our bolt plate. Once you've done this to all three and hold those bolt plates in place, we can go ahead and line these up to our brackets. All right, now we're going to take our running board and line it up to our brackets. Uh, very gently lower the bolts into the brackets. Once they get lined up, what we're going to do is take our supplied hardware. I've got a bolt, lock washer, and flat washer. I'm going to go ahead and run through the bottom of our double bolt plate here, going into the welded nut and that's going to hold it in place for me so that then I can come up top and do a flat washer, lock washer, and nut on the bolt coming out. I'm going to do that to all three of our brackets. Once all three of our brackets are in place, lined up, go ahead and raise up the board and get it lined up where you want and tighten everything down with a 13 millimeter. Repeat the same for the other two brackets. We just repeated the same process for the opposite side and that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.